So we already had a good idea of how well it was tolerated and also some of the issues that could arise. So there is a slightly higher fatigue with uh, apalutamide than with ADT alone, but uh, this, is, this was expected. It's a class effect of these agents. Um, there are some patients that develop rash, very tolerable in the vast majority. A uh, percentage develops very low grade hypothyroidism uh, that is also very easy to manage and is usually not, uh, not, not uh, bothersome for patients. Um, and this was something that we actually looked for. And that's when you look for something, sometimes you find it. We don't know really the other agents if they have this uh, issue with hypothyroidism. These are elderly population, median age 74. If you follow them long enough, and in this case, patients were followed on apalutamide three times as long as on the placebo arm. So it's three times more opportunity to capture adverse events. But the bottom line is, do these adverse events affect quality of life? And the answer is no. Didn't negatively affect quality of life.